Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we are talking about the 12 month percentage change in 2021 and what is taking place out there, folks. There is a lot of stuff that's going on and maybe some of the prices and stuff are starting to drop. Are they going to stay that way? We just don't know now, do we? But the price of lumber has dropped dramatically since uh, just over a month and a half ago, it's down like almost $600 per thousand linear feet. And that is a good thing if you are building a house, doing an addition or anything like that, because that's saving you a lot of money. Now, the question is, the prices are dropping on the stock market and stuff, but are the prices dropping in the stores? From what I have gathered, no, they are not. Because a lot of these big companies and stuff have pre-bought a lot of this product as far as wood as far as like two by fours four by sixes you plywood and all this kind of stuff and they've already pre-bought a whole bunch of this stuff so you're going to be paying those high prices until that inventory gets sold off and if they're buying it at a cheaper price then you're going to start seeing the prices come down but how long is that going to take they said that the average house if you're building an average 2000 square foot home the average price of that home went up just for the lumber to build it $36,000 because of the prices of lumber. Now that is a big, huge jump for a lot of people and has forced a lot of people to back out or lose, maybe lose money on their contracts and stuff because they just can't afford the price increases. And what is that else is that telling us? It's just another way that everything is changing. Everything is going up and we have no control over it. All right, right here, you got the U.S. consumer prices surge in May, recording largest 12-month increase since 2008. It's just everything is going up, folks. But when you really look at the markets, this is a live look at the weekend markets, okay? Everything right now is in the green, which is a good thing. No reds as far as the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ. Um, and all those type of things. Okay, now we get right into this. You know, you, you got like your cotton's down, oats are down, lumber's down $5.61. I mean, if you look right here, it's $1,059.20. At its peak, it was almost at $1,700 per 1,000 board feet. All right, coffee's down, cocoa's up, live cattle and lean hogs, they're, they're up. Um, corn's down, feeder cattle's up, milk, um, orange juice is way down, that tanked, and uh, palm oil, uh, rapeseed, rice, all these things are down, as you can see, soybeans, wheat, sugar, everything else, but why are we still paying the same prices at the store? It's still because everybody has bought all these products and they have to get the price that they pay they're not just going to take a huge loss and then it affects their bottom line they're all in business to make money at our expense folks so it's not like the prices are all going to drop and they're going to give us a good deal that's like if the bottom fell out of the oil market right now i guarantee you it'd still be at three bucks a gallon until they emptied out all those pumps where they made all that kind of money on that what they already put in there and this way here when they bought more fuel to put in those pumps well now it'll be at a lower price they can start dropping the price a little bit but you you know they raise the prices anywhere between 20 to 50 cents a shot and then but when they want to lower the prices if you all haven't been paying attention it is more like you know maybe two to three cents at a time it's their way of making more money off of us now I did do a video back in April, talked about the food uh, crisis and the food raises of 2021 and what was going to be taking place and how all the prices and stuff are going to be rising. A lot of that stuff is pretty much common sense, folks. There's not really too much you really have to put into that. It's not like I have a crystal ball and I could see the future here. Uh, you put one and one together and most people get two. So right here, we're looking at a 12 month percentage change. And this was put out in the May of 2021 towards the end of the month. So it's been out for a week or so, a little over a week. And as you can see, the prices, you know, all items of 5%, foods 2.2%, 
Food at home is uh, 0.7%. Cereals and bakery goods, you know, is up 0.6%. Meat, poultry, fish, and eggs, it shows it's up 0.1%, which I find a huge problem with that because I don't know about you, but you go into the store and you go to buy meats especially, it's up more than 0.1%. Um, sorry, it's, it's through the roof. So I don't know who really uh, was behind doing this whole uh, graph here and everything else, but um, I'm thinking that could be an error. I don't know about where you live, but here, red meat is very expensive. Uh, dairy, fruits, now you get down, I want to get down here to some of the big deal stuff. The stuff that's really hurting a lot of Americans, and it makes it very difficult for people to prep to be ready because what's taking place is your energy costs are running through the roof. So you look right here where it says energy, 28.5%. Energy commodities is up 54.5%. Fuels up 50.8%. You got uh, gasoline, all types is up 56.2%. Energy services, 6.2%. Electricity is up 4.2%. Um, natural gas has jumped 13.5%. It's just crazy, insane what you have in the pay to heat, cool your home and everything else. Everybody needs electricity. Now, unless you live off the grid, you're, if you're tied to the grid, you're paying premium prices at this point in time. And we haven't even had a major hurricane yet where, you know, are going to have to redo lines and do all this kind of stuff and all the infrastructure that has to be fixed and all that. And then they're going to tack that bill on top of it because we always pay for it in the end. Right in the very beginning, they don't. They wait like to a year later, and then they like to throw that in your lap that we get to pay for it. There's going to be a price increase because of said hurricane, and that happens all the time, folks. All right, <clears throat> right down through um, all your, your apparel, new vehicles is only up 3.3%, but if you want a used car truck, if you can find a used car truck, is up 29.7%. It is basically cheaper for you to buy a new vehicle than it is a used vehicle. And uh, your motor vehicle insurance has gone through the roof too. Now, you, we all see the commercials on TV where they say, oh, they're saving you, you know, six, $700. Oh, you know, 15 minutes could save you 15% and everything else. Well, it's went up 16.9, so maybe they should change their commercials. But airline fares is up 24.1%. So if you all didn't book your airline fares, if you didn't book your trips and stuff that you were planning to do this year, uh, before, what was it? I believe it was the end of March, right around there, the beginning of April. I got right in on the, right before they raised the rates. The same airfare that I'm taking um, on my trip this year is double the price of what I already paid. The moral of this story is preppers, especially new preppers are probably being pretty much cut out of being able to physically afford to prep because you're having to pay for such high dollar energy, insurance, cars, gas, food, and everything else. So you're probably struggling just to make ends meet, pay the bills, and trying to be prepared for any unforeseen thing that could come down the path is going to be very difficult for a lot of people. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. And everybody thrive to survive. Keep your head up. If you can catch some good deals and you can score some preps to put up and put away for a rainy day, then do it. If you catch that great deal, don't pass it up, especially if you're in the food store or something and they got something on sale and you can prep it and put it away, however it may be, whatever your skill level is, make sure that you're maximizing that deal 
with your money because at this point in time every penny counts folks so until next time y'all stay safe y'all keep prepping i'm survival preparedness for beginners catch you on the flip side